Hey guys, welcome back to Nurse Janks. We're gonna talk about apps for nursing and nursing school. So one of the first apps I wanna talk about is actually two different apps because they both do essentially the same thing and they're both free, so it's pretty much a mute point, whichever one you decide to go for. Those are Zotero and Mendeley. So these apps are both reference library apps. And basically what that means is it keeps track of all your citations that you guys are gonna need for papers or discussion board posts, anything that you have to do with like APA format, these apps are gonna come in super handy. They actually both come with plugins that you guys can put on your browser. So whenever you're on an article that you wanna use in a paper or a discussion board, all you have to do is click a button and it's going to automatically import your source for you. So it'll pull things like the title, the year it was published, all of the authors, and usually it pretty much gets everything right. But if it doesn't, you can always fix those things manually, but it will definitely still save you some time, even if it only gets most of it right. The big advantage to using these apps is when it comes to actually writing your papers. So when you have an area in your paper where you wanna insert a citation, all you have to do is click a button and then you search within your library, just like a Google search for either your title or one of the authors, and you'll easily find your source. You can import it in your paper. And at the bottom where you have all your references, you can insert your reference list and it's going to automatically populate as you write your paper. So these apps are great because they're gonna help you guys not miss points for APA formatting mistakes because it's gonna pretty much automate all of that stuff for you. They're super easy to use, they're very, user-friendly and it's gonna help you guys out. Another good thing about these apps is if you ever need to make a correction to one of your sources, all you have to do is fix it once and then it will automatically fix it throughout your entire paper. So that's awesome. I highly recommend both these apps. Honestly, I feel like I was living in the dark ages before I came across them. And now that I know what they are, I will never not use them for any kind of paper or any place that I have to use APA format. The next app that I wanna talk about is just a calendar app. And honestly, there's really no preference here. Uh, if you're on an iPhone, maybe use Apple Calendar. If you're on Android, use Google Calendar. But some of these are cross platform anyway, it doesn't really matter. The point is use a calendar app. If you're in school, you don't wanna miss any papers or little deadlines for assignments here or there. So if you automatically put every assignment in at the beginning of your semester after looking through your syllabus, you're never gonna forget anything. That's awesome. If you're already working, you know, this is still great because it's gonna help you not miss your shift. You'd be surprised, but sometimes people don't show up to their shift and you know, everyone's waiting to give report and they're like, huh, where's Becky? And so they call Becky at home and Becky's freaking out because she just realized she has to be at work, so she's scrambling to get her dressed and get to the hospital as fast as she can, so you don't be like Becky, okay? Get a calendar app, never miss work, never miss assignments. Don't rely on your brain to make sure it's never gonna forget anything because believe me, there will be a time where you will forget something and you don't want that happening to you because it's always stressful and it's never a good thing. The next app is UpToDate. Essentially, if you haven't heard of it, it's basically Wikipedia, but it's actually accurate information written by doctors, peer reviewed. You're allowed to use it in papers. It's not gonna get looked down on like Wikipedia would be, but it's, it's a great resource and it pretty much will tell you anything you need to know about anything and it's always up to date, even more so than your textbooks. So I highly recommend it. It is expensive, but if you guys are going to school, definitely check for your library resources because a lot of times you're gonna get it for free with your tuition. And even after you guys graduate, you still might have access so long as you maintain your school's credentials. Me, for example, I've graduated, I've been graduated over a year now and I still have access to UpToDate through my school. So, so long as you keep those credentials, you'll still be able to have UpToDate, which is awesome. So the last app is called Hippocrates. Basically, it's kind of like UpToDate. I feel like it actually came up before UpToDate. It's a little bit more of a snapshot versus a full-blown like paper about every Thing you need to know. So let's say you come across something and you really don't know what it is. You can look it up real fast, get a little snapshot of like, what is this? How do I treat this? What are some typical drugs for this? What are some diagnostic tests kind of thing? It's basically a simplified version of UpToDate that just helps you quickly get some answers if you don't wanna go reading an entire article like you would do on UpToDate. So there's a free version of the app that you guys can download and I honestly would just stick with that because it kind of stays with the snapshot. There is a premium option as well, which kind of fleshes all that information out. But then again, you're kind of running into essentially the same thing as UpToDate at that point. And I feel like UpToDate's probably better so I would just use that. Plus, you know, if you get it for free, then there's no need to pay for the fancy version of Hippocrates. I would just stick with the free version of Hippocrates. And if you need more information, head over to UpToDate so long as you have that resource for free. That way you're getting everything for free and who doesn't like that? All right, guys, those are my recommended apps for nurses and nursing school. If you guys have any app suggestions, please let me know down in the comments, that'd be awesome. If you guys like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. And subscribe to our channel for future videos. We'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.